I know this is kind of old news, like 2015, 2016, but uh, I feel like responding to this because this is some of the most ignorant shit I've heard. And also, I've seen people like responding to like thing, tweets from 2013, like Rebel Media. He wanted the devil. Well, you got him. Brian Fisher um, has got to be the worst Christian that is alive. He is one of just the most bigoted, homophobic people that I've heard. I've heard a lot of homophobic shit. This is the kind of man that even um, Christian ministers who want to who want the Supreme Court decision overturned, even they wouldn't want to be um, affiliated with him. This is the kind of guy who thinks that the gay, that gay, the homosexuals created the Nazis, even though they persecuted gays. And the one gay Nazi that I can think of, Ernst Röhm, who was head of either the SA or the SS, he was betrayed by Hitler and executed. He, he this guy thinks that tolerating gay people, giving them rights, is going to lead to the downfall of America. Like God's going to really care about what a government does. Was the anniversary of the Obergefell decision. This is when the Supreme Court, with absolutely no constitutional, legal, moral, or ethical foundation, imposed homosexual marriage on the entire country. And I said at the time, and I say it again, that day, June 26, 2015, is a date that will live in infamy. Just as the Pearl Harbor date is a date that will live in infamy, so... This day in which same-sex marriage was imposed on the United States against the will of the citizens is a date that will live in moral infamy. Uh, so, you know, my contention is that what moral jihadists did on June 26, 2015, what they did to the twin pillars of truth and righteousness, the same thing that the Muslim jihadists did to the World Trade Center on 9-11. So moral jihadists took down the twin pillars of truth and righteousness, just like Muslim jihadists took down the twin towers on 9-11. This dense motherfucker is comparing two days to where 2,000 innocent Americans lost their lives on both days, 2,403 at Pearl Harbor, 2,977 on 9-11, to the government saying, hey, you two, gay guys, you want to get married? Yeah. Well, congratulations. You can do that now. It's legal. Go get married. Pearl Harbor and 9-11 were travesties on this country. People died. Dead motherfucker. And you're comparing the government allowing people to get married to people with the same junk to days where people were murdered, where we two wars were started. Yeah, these days are totally compatible with gay marriage. Yeah, allowing people to get married without government persecution is so similar to people losing their lives and our country being attacked. This is when the Supreme Court imposed homosexual marriage on the entire country. This day in which same-sex marriage was imposed on the United States against the will of the citizens. Imposed against the will of the citizens. What this man does not realize is that as of 2017, 
at least a 62 to 64 percent of Americans uh, are in favor of gay marriage, which I will link in the description below. And it was probably just just the same then. I mean, yeah, the, this guy was grew up in the 50s and 60s, and gay marriage was not even spoken of back then. So he, he wants to live in the Leave It to Beaver era of the Eisenhower administration. But those aren't those days anymore. Gay marriage is now legal and it's accepted, and a lot of people aren't for gay marriage. Not these people. At least on my mother. My dad's never said anything about it. But Ma, her Baptist backgrounds, yeah, I'm stupid. Anyway, I was for gay marriage. The only reason I knew about it was uh, because of the Daily Show. Even if I hadn't, I'd just been like, gay marriage is legalized. Okay, because I don't give a shit. Because I'm not gay. Well, so yeah, it doesn't affect me. But hey, points for egalitarianism. Homosexuals, gays, lesbians, bisexuals, whatever. They are not by definition terrorists. Jihadists are terrorists, but and not all Muslims are terrorists. Okay, that's it. But, what was, but th th you're comparing ap apples to coconuts. You, he's just one to stoke up fears of old Christians. You know, I'm a devout Christian myself, but even I'm not this stupid. I did not, when I first heard gay marriage was legalized, I was not like, oh my gosh, this is just like that day when I was eight years old. This is just like watching people die. Some, some of these people... I mean, I have respect for the elderly, but some old folks need to shut up. I'm sorry, but... I could have done this video a little longer and dissected this idiot's comments a little better, but I got a meeting in the morning, so I gotta get some sleep. But anyway, I want everyone to stay open-minded, not be like this guy who's comparing two people who love each other, who happen to be of the same sex, being allowed to get married the two days where this country were was unjustly and deliberately attacked by foreign nerds. Anyway, everyone please stay open-minded, stay sane, and as always, may the force be with you.